Okay, welcome back to Physical Science Online. Today we're continuing with Waves Notes. These notes will encompass BP3 uh, from our learning targets. Uh, it's going to feel like I'm, I'm jumping around a little bit because I have two slides that kind of cover this from previous years uh, that I haven't quite combined yet. So bear with me a little bit. In the previous notes, we did go over sound waves a little bit. I gave you uh, the speed of sound under the characteristics. You can look it up on Google if you want to. And I told you how sound or mechanical waves are greatly influenced by the medium that they travel through. Now, light waves or electromagnetic waves are the same. They are influenced by their medium. They don't need a medium, but they are influenced by it, uh, but in a, vastly, a slightly different way. The speed isn't as affected by the medium. However, uh, it goes down as the medium gets more dense, whereas in sound waves, mechanical waves, uh, the speed went up as the medium got more dense. So the characteristic of light waves that's different is that it goes down as the medium gets more dense, air to water to glass, it goes down a little bit, and not as significantly. I mean, it's still changing by a factor there, uh, but just not quite as crazily. So that's a characteristic of light waves. Light waves, of course, are very fast. That 3 times 10 to the 8th, which is its speed in air and in a vacuum, is, I'm adding my zeros, that's 300 million meters per second. Six zeros, two more zeros. Yeah, 300 million meters per second, whereas sound is traveling at 300 meters per second. Uh, we have one formula for this, for this chapter. Uh, we'll do a little bit more work with that yet uh, before we get to the test. Our formula is the speed of a wave formula. Velocity is, still stands for speed. V equals velocity. F equals frequency. And that uh, weird sigma symbol. I forget if that's a sigma or if it's something else. The weird little triangle thingy with a, with a tail. Uh, that's going to be our wavelength. So that's our equation. Um, this time around... We'll, we'll do plenty of math. I wanted you to see one of them. You know, we got a couple 10 to the whatevers, especially for electromagnetic. You know what the 10 to the whatever stands for. And I don't forget if I have the, doesn't look like I have the examples. We'll do calculations later on. I just wanted these for your notes right now. We have one equation this time around, and I'll do a, a different video with that. Then, for wave interactions, see if I can get this done in one video. Usually doesn't work out that way, but we'll see. Um, wave interaction, waves can interact with things. So of course, waves don't just travel forever. Eventually, they hit something. They either hit another wave or they hit something solid. When they hit something solid, they can bounce off of that surface. That's called reflection. Uh, there's video links. It's an echo or a mirror. That's what it is. Or it can refract. Refract is when it passes from one medium to another. Like, say, it goes from air to water, water to glass. Um, once again, video links if you really wanted to, but basically sound travels better through air. And then uh, a rainbow happens when it uh, refracts off of water. We watched an Ed Puzzle video about why the sky is blue. That's refraction. Then uh, waves can interact with each other. So they can interfere. They can either amplify um, so like when we have speakers hooked up in phase, they can make it louder. Da, da, da. Constructive interference. Or it can make things brighter, like on a butterfly. Or it can destructively interfere. That's when they are opposite each other. So constructive is when they are the same. They're in phase. The peaks line up. Destructive is when the peak and trough line up. So they're opposites. Then they interfere and can cancel out. We have noise-canceling headphones or uh, light, some bubbles and stuff can do this too. So those are our, our constructive and destructive interferences, reflection and refraction, making sure densities, and that the speed of light is much faster than the speed of sound. Uh, also throwing in scattering here. Scattering is not a term for, for our test, just kind of cool because we've, we've heard of that. Scattering is a different form of refraction. Um, or it just goes in a lot of different directions because of it hitting so many things at the same time. And here's a re just a reflection of a uh, reminder of the speed of electromagnetic light waves and all electromagnetic waves, radio waves, microwaves, gamma rays, all travel at the same speed, just 